Record your PLR article as an MP3 by PLR.me. When you become a member of PLR.me, each month sees a new collection of PLR articles and personal reflection affirmation. One way to put these PLR articles to work is to create audio MP3 versions. You can do that easily with the free audio recording software called Audacity, available both for Windows and the Mac. The first thing to do is see if your computer has a built-in microphone. If it does, by all means give it a try and see how your recordings sound. If you don't have a built-in mic, or if your mic sound quality is not up to the job, you can use a USB desktop mic. The Logitech brand comes highly recommended. Here we will cover a few of the most important aspects of the Audacity user interface. Refer to the Audacity user's manual for a complete rundown of all its features. First of all, you'll see that Audacity comes already set up to make high quality recordings. There may be some situations where you'll want to use a lower data rate, such as to make your file size smaller, but in most cases you can stay with 44.1 kHz. The first thing you want to do is adjust your microphone's recording level. You do that with this slider. Let's start with it set about three quarters of the way up the scale. Testing, one, two, three, four, testing. As you see, the meter just above the icon of a microphone gives you a visual indication of your recording level. If your bars go all the way to the right, you would want to adjust this slider to a lower setting. Conversely, if your bars are not high enough, adjust this slider to a higher setting. Once your recording level is set properly, get your script in front of you and click on the red record button. You don't have to worry too much about mistakes because you can go back and edit them out. When you come to the end of your script, click on the square stop button. You'll want to save your project. Let's just save this as test one. When you finish your editing, you'll want to export your project. If you are using this in a video, you'll want to export a full quality uncompressed version. This is set up to save the project as a WAV file. You can change this in preferences to export an AIFF file for Mac users. If you want to use this as a standalone audio MP3 file, choose Export as MP3. Give it a name that you like and click on Save. And that's the basics of turning your PLR.me articles into audio MP3s. Take full advantage of your trial offer. Give your visitors convenient MP3 versions of your articles, either in downloadable versions or burned onto CDs. Get started now at PLR.me. That's www.plr.me.